the Kim Kardashian empire has done it again. Controversial she may be, but she's definitely a shrewd businesswoman. She and her momager, Kris Jenner, that is. Kim and the Kardashian machine, as a matter of fact, knows how to leverage opportunities and we can all learn from her shrewd and sophisticated business acumen. If you haven't heard, Kim K's shapewear line, Skims, has teamed up with the Italian fashion house, Fendi. Before I get into this bombastic deal of 2021, let me introduce myself. It's your first time here. My name is Miriam and I'm an attorney and this channel we talk about different legal topics that are circulating or that should be circling. If you like that sort of thing, please like and subscribe and share the information with anyone you think it would be helpful if you share that's a plus because it's a growing channel so anything you can do to help is so appreciated and if you would like to book a session with me or would like a consultation with me i also have a link in the description box if you want to go over business ideals legal strategy if you need an nda trademark etc there's a link in the description box and yes I'm a lawyer and I'm also a viper. So now back to Kim. Now this is truly such an honor for Kim, even with all of her accolades and accomplishments. It really truly speaks to the quality of her Skims line, being able to pivot in such a way. I am really happy for her and let's not forget, she has dressed the US Olympic team for their loungewear and their, their loungewear and their undergarments, I believe. So this is such an amazing move for her and her brand. So so for those of you who do not know, the reality star, now mogul, launched her shapewear line back in 2019. Now this was not the ordinary shapewear because it was shapewear that matched all different tones of skin, whether you were deeply hued or extremely fair, she had a nude that was appropriate for you, for your flesh tone. The marketing of the brand was impressive because she was so inclusive of all the different skin tones as well as the different shapes of women so very very clever Our undergarments to match your skin there weren't any before skims and this solved the problem her line solved the problem the shapewear has also evolved to include underwear and intimates and, uh, and loungewear so it's very inclusive all her pieces are also transitional so you can wear the shapewear as a tank top I've never tried skims so um, Skims, if you're listening, don't forget to reach out to your girl. I would love to try. Anyway, we have to give Kim credit for being so inclusive of all of the color ranges because so many shapewear companies have two colors, black or beige. But ladies, these are so varied. They, ne they would work for any woman. So now that you know about Skims, let's talk about the fashion house Fendi. Now this is a chess move for Fendi because Kim has always been associated with the Balenciaga house. So this is an interesting pivot. This is definitely a power move for both brands. The Fendi house is part of the Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy group. Prior to that, almost a hundred years ago, the house of Fendi was established by Adele and Edouard Fendi in Rome, Italy in 1925. The first Fendi boutique sold handbags and fur, which gained immediate success. In 1965, the house collaborated with the young German designer, which all of you I'm sure know by the name of Karl Lagerfeld. In his hands, the fashion revolution took place and he revolutionized fur designing. During this time, he designed the iconic double F's logo that stand for fun furs. Fendi has always looked beyond the expected for its shows. Fendi's first garnered attention for the handcrafting for the furs more than 90 years ago, producing a legacy of unprecedented invention and creativity in the art of fur. Fendi is iconic for its fashion as well as its presentation. For example, in 2007, Fendi was the first Maison to stage a show on the Great Wall of China. 
In 2016, the Maison was celebrated with a unique show at the Trevi Fountain in Italy. And in 2019, Fendi paid homage to the late Karl Lagerfeld by presenting its couture show at the Temple of Venus and Rome. Fendi has cultivated a reputation beyond the iconic furs to now encapsulate luxury handbags, clothing, shoes, and the list goes on and on. Now the Fendi and Skims link is designed by the creative director Kim Jones and Kim Kardashian West. The capsule collection unites the aesthetic code of the respective brands to create and capsule a wardrobe for the modern woman. It launches on November 9th and the collection focuses on the form fitting garments like hosiery, underwear, sportswear with each piece covering Gim's Fendi monogram print. And so the collaboration also includes a bonded leather jacket that comes in a myriad of neutral tones and pays homage to the Roman aesthetic. So the line varies from being logo mania to also paying homage to the history of the Italian culture. Despite the extravagance known of Fendi, the clothes are largely minimalistic, sticking close to the silhouette that has brought Skims much commercial success since it got started in 2019. The creative director revealed that the idea for the partnership came to the Fendi creative director, Krim Jones, during a meeting in which he was with his team and then suddenly all of the women went silent and started looking at their phones right in the middle of the meeting. And so he didn't know what was going on, but they were all waiting for the new launch of the Skims collection. And that was when the light bulb went off for him. And he's like, wait a minute, let me do something with Kim Kardashian. Now that's an example of keeping your finger on the pulse. He was paying attention to what the market wanted paying attention to what his employees wanted. So like I said, the looks varied. Kim has posted a few of the looks on her Instagram account from the logo mania to the leather dress. And so it's a very eclectic uh, collection. While Skims is usually more affordable, the shapewear starts at about $28 and the loungewear starts slightly over $100. The price point for this collection is a lot closer to Fendi's with the leggings going for about $1,000 and a puffer coat with the logo mania interior going for $29.50. Yes, almost $3,000. The most expensive piece is the Roman inspired leather dress, which is about $4,200. And that's known to be Kim's favorite piece. And it's not only clothing, the capsule also features some of Fendi's accessories, including a peekaboo, Fendi's first bag, and it has different range of colors. Again, the launch is November nights. So if you feel like treating yourself and you have your credit card ready, check out her looks on her Instagram page. And that is it. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're waiting or if you're excited for this collection, leave a comment in the comment box.